everyone, and welcome to The One Team We Agree On. I'm Kyle. I'm Jillian. And we'd like to welcome you to our show today. Um, we hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, happy first Union preseason game. Yes. Yes. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Philadelphia Union's uh, 3-2 victory over Austin. And uh, since we haven't recorded last week because we were both so busy, so meets and stuff. Uh, I thought we'd uh, go ahead and maybe cover some of the little topics I had posted on they, uh, Facebook and Twitter. And um, we were going to go live. We're still having some technical difficulties, uh, mainly with um, our feed and our live stuff. But we're going to open these cards today. Um, hopefully, um, you guys can see that. They are the Topps Chrome 2022 MLS trading cards. So we're going to go ahead and open up a couple packs um, today and see what we got. But um, before we go ahead and get started, um, you, uh, what are you wearing today? Um, I'm wearing my birthday gift from you. My birthday was the other day. And it's We Boo Because We Care, Philadelphia. And I'm wearing your Christmas gift from me that says Join or Die um, from Philadelphia Union Store. So, um, and reminder, uh, also that you can follow the show um, on social media at the one team we agree on on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also follow us on Twitter. That's where I'm most active at. Um, and that is T O T W A G, the one team we agree on. And of course the show is on YouTube and on Spotify as well. And hopefully Apple soon, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about today's game. So um, what are your thoughts about blogging uh, live matches? Uh, I mean, it wasn't the best. I mean, if, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the best they could do for it, but it was a little frustrating because, you know, it wouldn't be updated for a while. And then, you know, I would check back, you know, I keep reloading and, you know, I kept the fact that I had to keep reloading was kind of annoying. Right. And also that like it would be, go for quite a while. Then all of a sudden, oh, here's updates, you know. Right. And so that that was kind of the thing we were uh, I was experiencing as well. Um my biggest issue was, like you said, that and the fact of towards especially second half, like first half seemed to be pretty good. There would be like five minutes. Right. But the second half, there was like, it was like Austin scores and then uh, we s uh, scored and then it was like 20 minutes for an update and it was like Chris Donovan scores and then there was nothing. And then like on s Twitter, it was like, the union win three to two and it's still showing like on the browser. And then like 10 minutes later, it was like another little blob. And then like 20 minutes later, it was like, and that's the end of today's match where union will be back on Tuesday. And I was like, yeah, so I, I get why they have to do that. I think there's like with uh, you, um, you, um, the U2s and the MLS um, like trial list. I think there's like some sort of rule there where they can't stream certain things. Plus mm -hmm. I think both teams have to agree upon it. There's some rule with that. that mm -hmm. That's why it can't be streamed. Yeah. I think there has got to be a better like way to update it though. Like I agree. you're going to do kind of like a live book. It just, yeah. What they should do. And I think this would be great is they should actually have like, I don't know how you would do it, but you could have like some guy in there just like typing like on the sideline there, like here's the ball mm -hmm. played, and then you, you could even have like a group chat like going on. Like that's other, what I'm saying. Like yeah, like other fans like, like in there, kind yeah. of like the old AOL stuff where you could like follow along. Like they used to do that with wrestling. Like they would have WrestleMania, and everybody be in like a group chat room, and like everybody else would be chatting and stuff. That'd yeah. be kind of fun, mm -hmm. but uh, that will never happen. Um, but anyway. So Union win three to two over Austin today. Um, no Andre Blake, but uh, the other three goalies got each thirty minutes, and then the uh, the stars looked good the first half. Um, from again, we can't see. So what we mm -hmm. read sounds like the front three were very active. Looked like Ua was getting a lot of uh, action yeah. for sure. Ua and Kranz were also getting called for all sides a lot. So yeah. So, yeah, there was that, and um, that was that. And sorry, like I said, guys, uh, if you see the camera acting a little funky, that's why um, we're trying to figure that out. But um, anyway, so you saw that uh, Kai had a really apparently nice, um, you know, 
um, set piece goal into alley for the header. That's always good to see. Mm -hmm. uh, Kai's got his mojo going because we're going to need that. Yep. And uh, set pieces are clicking. So that's also good. Um, I'm just happy to have Kai right now, too. That's true. Uh, we we're And then, although the Union did give up a set piece goal there in the first half. And then the second half, uh, Choo Choo showed up. Yeah, Choo Choo. All, off the rebound, apparently. And then Chris Donovan got in the action um, to wrap up the scoring. Um, and it sounds like Andres Pereira had himself a second half. He was yeah. all in. And uh, I even tweeted out that, you know, Apparently he was pressing real well, making some uh, st taking ways the ball, being active in the front, and uh, you know, we had uh, one of my groups who were chatting about that. You know, I, I think you know he's going to be somebody. Um, he's going to be a real weapon off the bench, and eventually he could make his uh, run into um, who knows, maybe mm -hmm. even the starting eleven by some point in the season. He's definitely going to get some starts with the. Uh, you know, some of the games that we got because we got all these games. So, yeah. um, any overall thoughts? I mean, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, I'm just excited, you know, to actually see them play, but this was a good start, you know, excited for the season to really get rolling. Yeah, I'd like to see them maybe throw in some more lineups. Like they play Cincinnati at four. I mean, not Cincinnati, St. Louis at mm -hmm. four on um i guess it's tuesday so i'd like mm -hmm. to see maybe some different lineup changes maybe go three center back not maybe against st louis but just trying some different stuff so we'll see how that goes but uh anyway let's go ahead and open up our first pack today and we'll see what we have here we got some cards here so we're going to open this bad boy up and we have here and these are all chromes hey we got a brenner we got Brenner. All right, put that there. Um, we got Derek Ntn Jr. from Columbus. We got Daniel Perea from Austin FC. Um, we got Brian Rodriguez from LAFC. And we have Bill Tuloma um, from Portland. So that is our first pack of cards. Uh, we got Brenner. That's a nice little card there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Dana Pereira and Derek and TN. Uh, some nice little cards there. Brian Rodriguez. So anyway, yeah, it's funny. They say for Rick Brenner, he played in 33 games, had eight goals and two assists. And then this year, you know, there's rumors he's going to get sold possibly. So mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't see Pat giving up mm -hmm. that. So yeah anyway but uh so another uh thing um as i open this next pack up that we talked about um i had posted a question to everybody um what player from last year because some people commented that oh well it was like historically and and i wasn't going for that i was going from last year's roster who do you wish was still on this roster and i said paxton uh, I said Stu, and then I said Corey, and you could count in Sergio as well, obviously, mm -hmm. um, and maybe even Casper. But um, I think from like the most recent departures, who, who do you still wish was still on the team? And uh, I guess it was overwhelmingly Corey, and then it was Pax, and then Stu was in third, which kind of shocked me. Um, who'd you vote for? <laughs> you have to ask, but no, I did vote for Stu, but I also realistic, like in terms of having like a major impact on, you know, the play of the team, um, Corey, definitely. But, uh, I vote for Stu because I like Stu, the person and the teammate and the player on that team. Right. You know, I mean, he's a great player, but also like, you know, everything he did for the team, you know um on right. and off the pitch no and and that's just it he he is um you know i i i had talked to a lot of people that said they voted for Stu. um i voted for Corey. um the reason i voted for Corey was right now you know outside of julian and Uwa, we're a little thin now i understand why with Corey's contract they had to you know bring it down obviously because mm -hmm. you're not gonna pay him what you did similar to sergio second um for me 
you don't know if you're going to get that again. That could have been mm-hmm. once in a, a, a season goal, but you know you're going to get that goal score back. At least you have mm-hmm. that option in the 60th minute. Plus, it's another very – because he's good at hold-up play. Um, so those are three things. But – so I think right now Corey makes the most sense. However – I also am starting now because I was having some conversations with some people and I'm starting to wonder about Stu because, you know, I love Brendan Craig, but I just don't know if Brendan Craig, you know, he's very talented, one of the best starters on the U20 team. He does well at at the U2 level um, and he's got all the talent in the world. And I think that's going to, Stu leaving opens up his pathway, especially with all these um, thing, but if we want to play three in the back, like Jim keeps talking about with some of these changing formations, mm-hmm. I'd much rather have Stu there mm-hmm. than Brendan. I just think Brendan's not that kind of player. Plus, Stu plays very well with Jack and with uh, Jacob. Brendan's still having to get that experience of playing with them consistently. So, I don't know. Plus, do play a lot with Brendan at U2, so there is that connection. So you can still have four center backs that would do really good. Right now, we're a little thin there. But I think I, I picked Corey mostly because he 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 was rejuvenated that second half, mm-hmm. came in, uh, and did great things. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's – I mean, realistically, that's the one I'd love to have back the most. I mean, he did definitely – uh, contributed a lot, you know, when he came in. Right. And, and I get that, you know, it opens up the door for like some of these U2 guys, like, mm-hmm. you know, we'll see if Riasco pans out. And I think he will. And some of these guys, and it opens up the door because they got to see if they got mm-hmm. their investment. I've said that before. Mm-hmm. So I get that. And I don't know if we're going to get, we, you know, we're linked to that uh, Torres guy from Cincinnati. I mean, not Cincinnati, um, from uh, Montreal. So, mm-hmm. If 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 that comes to deal or somebody else, we probably don't even know who they are. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, we are a little thin up there in the attacking front. So I that's kind of why I went with Corey. But at the same time, I think Stu makes a lot of sense because we really only have three center backs and you really need to have four. Mm-hmm. So Jim says there's something on the way. So, you know, we hope to have an announcement and then maybe possibly two. So I'd still like to see a little bit more depth, but at the same time, I'm not concerned about it, mainly because I trust Ernest. But number two, I think he also wants to see what some of these young guys have. So Yeah, I trust Ernest. Yeah. But so let's see uh, about this next pack of cards here we got. We're going to open this cards up. We got... Do you want to read these? <laughs> okay, we've got the K. DeBossi. I... I don't know if I'm saying that right. From Minnesota United. All right. Well, here's one. Yeah. Diego Almeida. Diego Almeida, obviously. Mm-hmm. Lucas Cavallini. Cal- like. Yeah. Cal- Cavallini. Cavallini. Yeah. Yep. From the Whitecaps, their striker. Calvin Harris from FC Cincinnati. All right. Another FC Cincinnati guy. And Dottie Kinda from Sporting. KC. So we got some KC people in here. No union. No yet. union yet. Yeah. We do get an Almada though. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a nice card. I'm surprised he's still there. All right. So um, and then uh, another topic I recently discussed was um, the uh, I asked the question: Is the union going to score 72 goals or better this year? Are they going to score more? <laughs> um, a lot of people said no. Some said yes. Where do you line up with this? I mean, I think we definitely could because we've got that. You got Ua from the beginning here, first of all. Mm-hmm. That that front line really clicks. You know, right. watch out. You know, I I feel like as you do that Ua could do really big things here. Him and Carranza, you know, and God's dog. I mean, that is, you know, that can be lethal. So. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we have more touchdown games with some of them, but you never know. You never know. Um, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I, I, 
I, I'm kind of torn on this. I had said, I think it was Renee said, no, but I hope I'm wrong. And I'm like, yes, but I'm probably going to be wrong. I, I'm kind of torn on this because 72 goals, while it's not the record, it, it that's, that's a, a lot. lot. That's, that's a, lot. a lot of goals. We had a lot of like big scoring games. Like, right. I don't know if we, you know, replicate that, but Especially I would sure like us to, but. Yeah, I, but at the same time, I think if the um the guys get um comfortable with one another i think we're definitely going to have something i mean they're already the front three are good i think it's the other pieces how they come and play with depths because we don't have a third striker we don't have or we don't have sergio from last year um so we're missing some of that if al stays healthy has another career like he does and keeps getting better hey who knows he gets six hey prayer who knows? He could get going. Jack, maybe. Um, when Danny lead the way, I think Carranza could have a lot of assists this year. I think mm-hmm. he's getting more comfortable, especially with him and Uwa. Mm-hmm. Um, we did not have a Kyer Glesnes goal this year. Oh, we're due for that, I think. So, yeah. I think we'll be in that ballpark. Mm-hmm. But, honestly, it's too early to tell. I mean, last year we started off slow, could hardly score goals, and all of a sudden we started opening the floodgates. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see a lot of touchdown games this year. But what I do think we'll see is a lot of more two, three goal games from the Union this year, mm-hmm. which is good. So, would you – you're going to say – Go ahead. Else? So, uh, next cards that we opened up, we have Frankie Amaya from Red Bull. We got a field tested Landon Donovan card. Oh, huh. Blast from the past. Yeah. LAFC. Did you know that he played in the MASL, MAL, MASL, Major Arena Soccer League for um, the San Diego Shockers? And now he's actually there. Aaron Herrera. Right. Ah, Franco Fragapani from Minnesota United. And David Ochoa, for which is now, where is he at? He's at, um, well, he was at um, D.C., and now he's over at the Earthquakes now. So so no union. Like, still no bummer. union. We are three packs out of six into this. So let's talk about some current news. Um, we have, um, you saw the announcement, I think it was Matt Ralph, uh, with uh you know, brother of the game, that SB Nation is basically, I was kind of miffed about this because they're taking away MLS and NHL. Yeah. So it do, doesn't, don't they have one, uh, the, uh, doesn't the Flyers have one? Um, Every team does. I don't know if you follow them. I don't really follow that. Oh, no, I follow the Flames when they have matchsticks and gasoline, which is just a great, great um, handle. But, uh, yeah. So apparently, uh, they're they're basically consolidating, getting rid of those sectors. So that that's really bum because I know, and I wasn't aware of this, and somebody, and I think it was Todd, pointed it out um, that uh, like with Red Bull, like there once a Metro was like their coverage of the team, like mm-hmm. they had no media outlets. So some of these teams really don't have the press that the union have. I mean, mm-hmm. and, and, and for what Matt and Greg do, um, you know, that's going to be a big, big loss. Now, you know, we have other avenues and channels, obviously. Ty at Free Kick covers the team. We have JT. We got Matthew George. We got Tans. And Matt Ralph is going to be Kevin Kincaid. And Matt's going to probably end up doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, Matt, I, I'm going to say I, I, lo- I love your coverage of soccer, and I hope you and Greg really honestly do find some avenue because we need your voice in the Philadelphia soccer mm-hmm. community. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's just not a good look because that's really going to hurt. Um, you know, I feel like some of these MLS coverages, I really do. What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I think it's definitely a shame and, um, you know, when we're trying to, you know, get the word out there more about MLS, you know, Mm -hmm. for this stuff. it's like, come on, really? I mean, yeah, we have a very, we're one of the few, I feel like we're one of the few, because I was looking the other night, we're one of the few, like, 
we're young, but there's like, you know, the free kick and there's other a podcast for the union. Some don't have it. Like they have like one or two. And we're lucky that we do have a vast majority of, you know, people like ourselves, amateur reporters, amateur news outlets that are trying mm-hmm. to spread the word of the Philadelphia Union. But I hope this, like for in case of Red Bulls, I hope that this doesn't affect coverage of of their team and, and other teams there and because that's just a shame. That's not how you grow the league. So, um, anyway, but, uh, so our next pack we are going to open is we got Tally's mango from NYCFC. Ooh. Alan Velasco from DC. He's a good little young player. I have no idea. Oh, oh, you, you're better at that. <laughs> oh. Uh, trophies. I don't know. If trophies I, for. I, mean, I know. I that, forget how you pronounce I'm saying it. that. Somebody's laughing probably right now. Listen, I, I bet you Billy or Todd are probably laughing probably. right now, or or or, or, or somebody like you on you know that trophies. Uh, <laughs> Cal Alexandre from the Whitecaps and Jesus Ferreira from DC. And Ky- and I can tell Kyle will be the first to tell you he's also really awful at you know, pronouncing, pronouncing things. Names. I'm usually pretty good, but also, as I've said before, I don't know as much about soccer, so I don't know these players as well. If it was baseball, probably I'd be like, you know, bam. No. Guy, we got some I good, know. we got some good little players in here. We got yeah. some good players yeah. here. So, um, I'm going to be really disappointed though, if there's not a single union one, in all these packs. I, I know, but let's see what we got. Um, So let's see what we got here. We got, Stanislav Ivanov, um, and he is from Real, uh, Chicago. That's right. He's from Chicago. We got another Tally's Mongo. Wow. Oh, wow. We got that's an old one. Uh, Phil Tessa Didier Drogba. Drogba. Wow. That was like, he was like, yeah. You can read about him. He was like uh, Ivory Coast's all-time scorer. Oh, good to watch. Huh? Jonathan Mensa and Christian McFarlane. All right, all these NYC ones. We got like a lot of NYC. Uh, we got some. Yeah, we got like double. So if anybody wants a Tiali's Mag Magno card, uh, I will be happy to send one to you. Um, I don't know who would want a Tiali's Mango card. But I'm sure there's Magno card, but I'm sure there's somebody out there. Um, so any um let me see here. So final little couple topics here. This is a shorter show tonight, uh, as we wrap up here. Um I want to look here what we got on the list yet. Um so uh one of the other things uh, is um did you see that um what is your thoughts on the announcing teams for Apple? Um, I didn't even see who's announcing team. Well, I'll tell you who's on. <laughs> I was tell you who's on there that you will like. Oh, do, oh, sorry. I just see who you have on the first card there, and we do have a union player. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, we got. It. Oh, wow. Okay. This okay. Is actually, this actually is a really good. Pack. Okay. Like in terms of names, that's yeah. like a really good pack. Okay, but anyway, um, no, I mean, I, I saw that sub is going to be uh, yeah. uh, on, on the commentaries. A couple other union guys, like a do and all those guys. Yeah. There. So that's cool. Twelman obviously is going to do his thing, but uh, I know they're going to announce more. I just still am uh, upset that JP and yeah. like Danny and those guys aren't going to be involved. Um, it's not the same without them. No, it's it's really not. I I, I know they're like I said. I know they're gonna add more. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're missing some good names though. Yeah. But hey, you know, honestly, that's the Apple one. That's not mm-hmm. Fox, I believe. But oh, I know what else I want to talk about before we announce this. The League's Cup brackets came out. Yes. Yes, and the Union are. It playing the 15th and 17th they're playing Tijuana and oh my gosh it begins with a Q 
the team that remember it was the team that was involved in that scandal. Well, that awful incident that I showed you, where they attacked all the, the ultras, attacked all oh, the geez. the uh at, um Atlas fans, and like yeah, stripped them naked oh, and that all, one. Oh that, my god, yeah, we're playing that team. Oh, god. Yeah. So, um, oh my gosh, I can see it's like Quentin Era or something like that. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, now. Liga MX kind of banned those people, but they should have done more. I still mm-hmm. feel, but anyway, I really like our chances of moving out. Breaking out, uh, I I do think we probably could put up a touchdown against them. But Tijuana's got some mm-hmm. good little players on him. That'll be a good match, but there'll be an opportunity. I feel at least in that opening two rounds, maybe get some of those younger guys in, get some experience. Um, we'll see. But uh, I like our bracket. Um. Obviously, um, top two teams move uh, like LAFC got by to the round of 32, so they don't have to play group stage. Ew. Well, but we'll you could be in like <laughs> New York, like what was it? It was like New York, Toronto, and Atlas. Like that's like, I wouldn't say that's a, there's a couple in there there. It's like really mm-hmm. kind of, I think like Pumas is with like, dc and somebody else like really easy Mm -hmm. um so i mean i think it was montreal maybe anyway all right so our last pack we're gonna open up today is uh we got matt turner and he's over at arsenal now this is the one you're booing walker zimmerman (laughs) Uh, but i mean who uh put a nice move on uh kellen acosta from lafc sorry but boo (laughs) A reigning MVP, Hani Mukhtar. I mean, respect. That's I, good. I love Hani. Yeah, I love he's, him. Good. he's good. And our first union, we got Leon Fly. Yeah. Oh, All God. right, we got we got Last we got country. Leon. All right. Yes. Yeah, that's actually a good picture. He looks like he has like long hair in that picture because his hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does look. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, Leon's teammates voted him newcomer of the year in 2021 after he shined immediately upon his arrival from a club in Germany. A tireless runner who can play all over the meal, midfield and use, utilizes his speed to make box to box impact and is also a lead defender. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's our show for today. Um, whether or not we have a uh, guest tomorrow remains to be seen, but we hope that we have a very, very special guest. If not, we'll at least have the show, and uh, we may have another interview coming up. Uh, you know, uh, Father Ben Jeffrey Mitchell. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, you know, he's been. We'll, we'll see. You know, he. Uh, we'll try work him in. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's quite possibly. Quite possibly. I, I know. I, I'm just saying, Jeff, we're going to try to get you in. Um, but uh, we got some other people as well. So coming up, but uh, we're going to have some fun. We got some things planned for this coming season. You know, we're so close away. Um, one of the things is we're, we're going to hopefully try to go live at the tailgates at times during tailgates. Um, Mm-hmm. And uh, we got a couple other things. We'll probably still do these shows, talk to families about what it's like to be a fan and how that impacts their lives, how the union have impacted their lives, but also just having some fun here. Um, that's really, mm-hmm. you know, the union, ha- like we said all the time, unions changed their lives. Mm-hmm. And, and we want to hear how the unions impacted others because it is a special family. And that's why. I love this team and I love these fans so much. So anything before you, we head out. Go birds. Oh yeah. Go birds. <laughs> My dolphins, unfortunately are not in it. They lost, <laughs> but they gave the bills a good fight. They did. They did. They did. They had two or they will one. Yeah, quite possibly. Quite possibly, but we'll see. But anyway, that's for today's show and we will see you next time. Uh, next time. On the one team we agree on, I'm Kyle. I'm Jillian. And we'll see you next time.